Hi everyone, my name is Michelle. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to import two reference images onto a single surface using Draw menu and edit them within ZBrush. Press comma to launch Lightbox. Go under Tool and double click on Julie. It will appear in the Tool menu under the Tool icons. Press comma again to close the Lightbox. Click and drag down on the grey background to place Julie on the canvas. Click on Edit and before clicking on Make Polymesh 3D, make sure Female Model Subtool is selected. Then, go ahead and click Make Polymesh 3D. ZBrush makes a copy of the selected subtool as a new tool. While the original Julie model is still intact with 5 subtools. This way, I can always go back to retrieve any parts in Julie if I need to. Let me click on the new subtool I created to use it. Next, I need a plane or surface to hold my image as reference. Turn on the flow grid with Shift P or click on this button here on the right. There's a tiny XYZ on the upper right of the button you can click on to turn on each plane. But I only need Z plane turned on because the skirt is front facing. How do I know Z plane is facing front? As a beginner, this can sometimes be quite challenging. It is for me, but I use a trick I find very quick and helpful in order to identify quickly which plane is facing me. I use my left hand to form this gesture. I make sure the head icon at the upper right of the canvas is facing me. And then start reciting XYZ beginning from the middle finger towards the thumb. X is the plane which runs left or right, Y up or down, Z forwards or backwards. That's how I check which plane to turn on. Press F to frame the model. Let's import this royalty-free image I downloaded from Meta Museum. Click on Texture from the menu on top, then click on Import, select the image from the dialog box, then click Open. You will see the skirt image show up at the top left box among the texture images. I've already imported mine previously, so you can see mine here as the last image. Go under Draw menu to place the skirt image on plane Z. Dock this Draw menu by clicking this icon on the upper left corner. Click on Front Back tab. Click on Map 1. Select the skirt image to load it. Now, if this is the first time you have seen Map 1, you must be wondering why is it called Map 1? And why is there a Map 2 next to it? And what's the difference? Map 1 is the image you want to see when viewed from the front. Map 2 is for you to load a back view if you have a back view image of the skirt. In this example, I have loaded a different skirt just to demonstrate. I can also choose to see the same image by just loading one image or I can click on this one button to make the second image disappear. Let's go back and check out how to load and adjust the skirt image on Z plane. Once I click on map 1, a dialog box will appear for me to choose an image. So I select the skirt image I want to display on Z plane and it will appear on Z plane. Most probably out of scale, but I can adjust the properties of this image under this front back menu. The scale of the image can be adjusted using this slider. I can scale it down by dragging the toggle to the left and scale it up by dragging it to the right. Click on the number to key in a figure like 0.2 and press enter. Rotate to check if you need to adjust the distance of the image from the model. Elevation adjusts how far back or how far forward the image is from the center of the model. Zero is the center of the model. Negative number means moving the image backwards. And positive number means moving it forward. Vertical offset moves it up or down. While horizontal offset moves it left or right. Let me quickly adjust this. Let's view from the back. If you find the image too transparent, 
You can change the opacity of the image using this slider. Fill mode. Slide the toggle to the right to increase the fill mode to 3 and make the image clearer. Decrease the number to make the image more transparent. Another very useful button is Adjust, which can be used to crop an image. It will launch a dialog box with crosshairs at each corner to adjust the size. Click and drag the crosshair to adjust, then click OK when you're done. Preferably crop the image before positioning or else you have to reposition the image again. There are three other buttons here. Inverse turns your image into an X-ray-like image. Flip turns the right side of the image to the left and vice versa. Rotate turns the image at 90 degrees increment. And finally, angle turns your image from any angle between 0 and 180 degrees. That's all for this video. See you in the next upload. Remember to subscribe.